with the young. You look absolutely lovely. You look wonderful. How are you? Thank you. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Oh, you do. You look you just look lovely. You look good too. Thank you very much indeed. I try my best. You know, I uh, <laughs> I do a lot of the Pilates. I, I'm I'm, uh, I'm never you, off. And what do you do to them? I I get the Pilates and I bend and stretch and I scoop. You do. <laughs> yeah, apparently, yeah. I think that's what you do with the Pilates. That's what I How do. How are you? You okay? You've, I'm good. You did the film with you Bill Murray. You seem concerned. I am concerned. <laughs> I'm worried. Did, I heard that you were going to the uh, the King Tut exhibit. I and did. The, did you go? Because I loved that. Did you I know? loved it. I took my son yesterday. We had the best time. What age is your son? He's five. Did he like it? Did he, he have a good did. time? He did. You know, he's quite a little brainiac. So I got him the headset and the thing, and he just kept scooting in in front of everybody and then standing there. Looking at all the stuff, and people kept saying to me, "How old is he?" I mean, he's five, and they would look at me like, "See, I, I what like are you that. doing to him?" I, I <laughs> like that. I, see, I, I got into that stuff very early as well, and look how well it turned out for me. I see. <laughs> see, I, I've used my age in Egyptology. Yeah, good. Do you like it? Are you into? I loved in it. I was, you know, I was obsessed. You know, and those the teeny little ones, the little tiny um, sarcophagus type things that they yeah. were open. And, and tiny you know, little bodies and yeah, and they. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like everyone saying this one held his liver. Yeah, and I was obsessed with that, and I'd be like, "Honey, look!" And inside, it has the writing from the Book of the Dead, and I have that at home. And you know, we can look at it, we can home. People look at me like, "What are you doing to him?" With your five-year-old? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have, what are you doing? To him? <laughs> he likes no, it. No, no, it's good. I, I was. I like it, and you've got fine. Two, you've got two kids. I do, and I have a two-month-old. Two-month-old. Mm-hmm. Jeez, how, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> are you getting any sleep? I drag them around yeah, everywhere yeah, yeah. with me. And, I yeah. like doing that. My son is four, mm. and uh, I haven't taken him to any ancient Egyptian things or anything like that. But he's getting very cheeky now. They say the most fantastic things. My, I said to my son the other day, "I have a surprise for you." He said, "Is it toys or food?" <laughs> If it's not toys, you're toys pretty much, food. they don't care. So what, what, what are your plans for your kids then? What do you think you'll do? What would you like them to be? You want them to go into show business? I want them to be happy. Right. I don't care what they do, but, you know, he, I think he likes being a doctor right now. He's quite obsessed with his doctor kit. I mean, an Egyptian doctor maybe, do the uh, <laughs> Egypt doctor. Then it doesn't really matter how he does, does it? <laughs> Well, yeah, because they're already dead. Of course, that's, that's fantastic. Yes. I, I, I think that was the one that got away from me, the Egyptologist. I think I should have done that. Do you think you would you have rather been something else than well, a Well, I like star? the outfits, lots of gold and headdresses and the no, snake thing. No, that's the thing. Egyptians. I'm talking about the Egyptologist. I want the little white coat and the mad hair. <laughs> and they go, oh, is this? Oh, look what I found. Oh, look, I found this. I've been digging under the ground and I found. Oh, wow. Yes, exactly that. Exactly that. Yes. Yes. Would you like that? The bottom. <laughs> the bottom of the mountain. Yeah. Have you ever been out there? Have you ever do you do a lot of travel? I haven't been to Egypt, but I do travel a lot. What's your favorite place to go to? Your vaca vacation My destination. My favorite place I've ever been is Tahiti. I just crazy about it. Why? Why Tahiti? What's so great? About well, it? because there's really not very many. You get there and almost no one is there. I and like that. Too. I yeah, love that. It's a bit like Scotland. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> That. I loved when I went to Ireland. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. I went on a bicycle tour. Now, are you a heavy drinker? Because Ireland and Scotland are both good for that. Do you get drunk all the time? Lots of boozy. Yes. Like lots. And, and you know, I'm Irish, so I went there and I used to think, I'm so loud and I'm so aggressive and I have <laughs> big opinions in the thing. God and then I you. went to Ireland yeah. and I went, no, I'm Irish. Yeah, <laughs> You're just amongst your own folk. Yeah. <laughs> Did you... Your family are from Ireland then? Did they come Gal over? Galway. Galway. Yeah, the whole people, yeah, the Galway the, people. Are you, a, are you a first generation? No, but we're, you know, the Kelly, Patrick, Michael and Sharon, so yeah, it was no, not, that's the, true. yeah, there's yeah, your yeah. first clue. So you're not, there's not a Jewish family then, you're not the Jewish Irish, you're the, uh, We're the Irish Irish. Yeah, yeah, Irish yeah. Irish. Where are you from? Where are you originally from here? Yeah. Pennsylvania. What's it like there? I've never been there. It's... It's it's not like Ireland because it's not very too hilly until you get to the kind of the Poconoish area near New York. But uh, the Poconos where the uh, people go for the uh, the stand up comedians. Oh, that's the Catskills. Isn't but it? no, Poconos also. Yeah. 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 Did you ever do that? Well, you know, once I, they have this uh, comedic hall of fame. Right. And the first year they had it, they gave the award to George Burns, and they asked me to take him as his, as his escort. 
which was quite marvelous. So it was yeah. all the comedians. So I had to go take George and tell a joke. To all the comedians? All the comedians. Mm. Oh, I yeah, was yeah. so nervous. Yeah, they're a mean bunch when they, they get together. They could be, yeah. but they were kind to me, praise God, because, you know, you stand up and you tell jokes. But thank God, and I was with George, who was so lovely. God rest yeah, him. He, yeah, he was, he was a lovely man. Did you ever work with him in a movie? No, no. That's a shame. He, he, he would have been good in Basic Instinct. He would have <laughs> been. He would have been. Take off his clothes, he'd have been like a little turtle without yeah, yeah. his shell. <laughs> <laughs> he could have, <laughs> he could have that. We can't do that. George Burns is not around. You can't say stuff like that now. <laughs> but he, would, he could have been a red herring in the kind of lesbian could have murder been a show. Herring, he I could think. have been a herring. Do you do a lot of fishing? I, uh, I do. Do you really? I do. I love to fish. I'm really? kind of mad about the fishing thing. I go back east and fish with my brother. We go. What kind of fishing do you do? I like the fly fishing thing. So f freshwater fishing with the. The I'm, casting. I kind of like that. Oh, yeah. I like that myself, oh, actually. I kind of love that. Fishing, golfing. I do all the things that kind of the boring. Did I you like pick, the boring sports. Did you pick up the golfing when you were playing a lesbian in Basic Instinct? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a lesbian, it's a lesbian sport. I'm just I saying. I also like baseball. I do like Very a lot. Few I like a lot of baseball, well, yeah. I do like a lot of the lesbian sports. I have to say, yeah, yeah. I am a little heavy in the loafers. It's true if you think about it. I'm a little, heavy in the loafers. I've never had that before. It's a little. It's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But I can hit. I can hit an 80 mile an hour hardball. You know, I. I don't. I don't find that unattractive in a woman at all, I have to tell I you. Used to, I, 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 had a, I had a kind of a bad boyfriend, and I used to say to him, you know, I could put an ad in the paper that says, I golf, I fish, I cook, and I can hit a baseball. And I wouldn't even have to say that it's me. So you should stop giving me a hard time. You should, I yeah. just put an ad out. Uh, is the ad out? Where do I sign? <laughs> uh, we have to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with Sean Stone, everybody. Welcome back, my lovely. I'm here with Sharon Stone. We were talking about um, fishing. I'm here with Craig Ferguson. Hi. <laughs> I know. Well, you are. You are. Tell me about the... Do you go out diving as well? Do you ever go out the, the aquatic underwater? <sighs> I keep getting all these thick parts in movies where I have to dive yeah, and the, swim. Yeah, the spear. And remember the spear movie you were under the... Go in airplanes and do tight all this costumes, crazy... Tight costumes. Tight costumes <laughs> underwater. If I get to wear a costume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, though. Not, nobody's mind. You know? pay for going nude. I mean, I just really, it's too much. No, we're fine with it. You were no, <laughs> we're all good. Anybody got a problem? I'm, I'm good. We're all fine. Just get, you know, get your kit off, get underwater, <laughs> everything's fine. Go. Do you wear underpants with your kilt? No, never. Okay. No, no, no. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. Yeah. It's always, no, you can't. It's against the law. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you ever sing that, that song, You Can't he Throw Your Granny Off a Bus? I have sung yeah, that song. Sing that. Would you like to sing it now? Yeah. Uh, you can't can he throw your granny off a bus. Oh, you can't he throw your granny off a bus. Oh, you can't he throw your granny. Because she's your mommy's mommy. You can't he throw your granny off a bus. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I told you I was killed. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe that you that you know that song. That's uh, it. And you know about Scottish people not wearing stuff under their kilts. Although you've done a bit of work like that yourself. Uh, uh, the, uh, hello. Okay. I'll arrest you for smoking. Yes, I've seen the movie. Okay. Uh, so do you go out? Do you actually do it yourself? Do you go out and do the dive in yourself? Oh, or? I do. I do. It's just too much. I, God. Yes, when I was little, I grew up in Pennsylvania, oh, and right. you know, you have to learn and to swim in Pennsylvania. It's a little like the creature from the Brown Lagoon, oh, because right, you okay. have to go to the lake in the morning at like 8 o'clock in the morning. They take you on the horrible school bus. Yeah. You go out there in the bad, you know, the bathing suits. Of course, when I was a kid, the bathing suit had the thing, the panel on the front. A panel? Yeah, like it's not a regular bathing suit like now where they're cut up like oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they had the thing like this. Right. And you go out there with your swim hat right. in case, God knows what, some fish under the water you might... Go for your hair. Yeah. Yeah. And you go out there, it was just freezing. And I go out and 
you didn't want to get in the water, let alone how could you learn to swim, and it was so muddy and disgusting, and you go down by the water, and it's just like... And, and I can so, see why that would make you want to take up diving well, and live a life. Well, so of course I never learned to swim. Right. So later I decided, okay, I've just got to deal with this. This and Jaws, <laughs> you never learn to swim. because yeah. blah! So finally I thought, I'm learning to swim. So I decided I would become a deep sea rescue diver. Really? You've, have you, you've just gone in through one all thing. I thought, I've got the thing, and I thought, well, you can just learn to dive, and that's like three days. Yeah, it's not long. Or you can learn to become a deep sea rescue diver, and that's. Do you wear the big brass helmet? Do you. Do well, you I did that in Sphere. Oh, behave yourself. We're talking here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, the big, you did in Sphere, you had the big turny thing. <laughs> I did. Yeah. So, I, yeah, in Sphere, I had to do that. And that, I said, okay, I can swim, I can do the diving, I'll do that. And then I get there to do it, and they're like, well, it's not what you do. And then they put you in, and some guy has to hold the top of your helmet because it's so heavy. And they put you down in the water because you have the lead shoes, and the guy, it's too heavy for you to do it yourself. And they hold your head as you go under the water, and you're thinking... I don't what the yeah, hell no. was I thinking? No. Yes, we'll help you down, Miss Stone. You, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any of it. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that. Hey, you're going down. Tell me, tell me about uh, about the movie you've got coming out. The uh, which? Oh, this one. Yeah, 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 the Broken Flowers. Broken Flowers. This is fantastic, Bill Murray. You know, he's, he's such very a good, genius. I think he's, he's got so a he's got a future, Bill Murray. <laughs> he's a, he's a hell of a golfer. Is he really? Wow. But he's also a brilliant comedian and an amazing actor. And being with him was so marvelous. Oh, my God. Every second, you're learning so much. Yeah. And, uh, about golf? About life. Life, acting, everything. He's so, he's so tender and so talented in every little thing. I he don't really want to hear how great it. Bill Murray is. That's enough. Uh, Forget him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie is fantastic. Yeah. It genuinely is. What's I it mean, about? Great actors. It's about a guy who gets a letter, and the letter says that he has a son, a grown son, a teenager, and he's shocked, and he, he doesn't even know if it's real, but he realizes that he needs to go back in his life and determine where this kid may be, who could be the mother, but he's been quite a playboy. Mm -hmm. So he goes back and he meets these five women. And are any of them the mother of his child? He goes through this journey of his life. And that's what the movie is? And that's about the movie, and, and I'm you're one, one of the, of the women. women. The hustle and grind, I call my path. Each step forward in aftermath. Dreams pulsate within, fueling my fire. With determination to blaze, I never tire. Day by day, I chase the gleam. In the labyrinth of life, I crack my scheme. I'll nurture my aspirations, let them thrive In the symphony of ambition, I'll strive Rise up and showcase your might Show them what they want They say us take flight We'll scale the peaks, reach the zenith's height Together we'll ascend, never falter, never slight In the face of adversity, we stand tall With grit and valor, we heed the call No setback too great, no hurdle too steep we're the architects of our destiny, the dreamers who leap. So let's rise, let's soar, let's defy the limits imposed. Reach for the sky with unity as our strength and courage as our guide. We'll conquer the horizon side by side. And but there's amazing, amazing, amazing actresses in this film. So it's fantastic. And all the time you did the uh, show, did any actress afterwards, like, did you call her or go, listen, I felt some connection. Would you like to go out on a date? Did you ever try? There was one at the <laughs> very beginning, and it, it worked out bad. Actress and or singer? It was, it was Sharon Stone. Oh, Sharon Stone. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. And I, I had, you know, I felt like, I mean, nothing ever happened. We just had dinner. Right. You but, had dinner, and it's a, a flirtation. Right, right. And she was very nice, and then she went away. But the whole time, i got to be honest, the whole time I was thinking about that scene. And basically, oh, my and God, yes. Is she wearing <laughs> underwear? Yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, a physically beautiful woman, but you couldn't close the deal, so to speak. You didn't I become her no. boyfriend. No, was, there, I, was there no connection? There was no real chemistry there. It was no. like she was very nice. Yes, but that, but then it was like I, I think she felt awkward and I felt awkward, <laughs> and I was like, well, that was great. We shook hands and I you, dropped her. At did home you find yourself like, interviewing her? Like, a little bit, yeah. yeah, a little bit. I was like, so, and then what happened and stuff? I kind of, yeah, it was kind of weird. Just think, she could have been Sharon Ferguson. No, I think I think we both survived that quite well.